Hello and hello again. This is Tibblewinkles, and we are in stairs. So I don't know much about this game. All I know is there's three missing people, and it's a horror game. And I'm guessing that this has something to do with looking for clues and hints, and being spooked by supernatural beings at this in the process. Let's start. Empty. Profile is already in use. Do you want to overwrite it? It's an empty profile. It's not in use anyway. My name is Christopher Adams. Freelance journalist looking for a new story and someone to sell it to. Lately I've been looking into three missing people, but with no luck. Valerie Berkeley, James Reed, and Jean Jowers Remens. Berkeley was allegedly kidnapped by the other two and is presumed dead. There was no ransom note, no exchange. All three simply went missing for three years. Until now. Police found the body of a young female yesterday in the old factory outside of town. According to my contact, it was Berkeley, killed by strangulation. So why would a kidnapping victim turn up dead three years later? Are Reed and Remen still involved somehow? I'm on my way to the factory now. If nothing else, I'll get some photos before anybody else does. And there we have it. Freelance journalists trying to figure out the mystery between four missing people. Like, three, I mean. I guess there's nothing much to do here. Huh. One moment. Huh. My notes. Toggle camera, take photo, interaction, icon. Not taken, taken. I don't really get what that means. I found a way to the factory through a walking path. Should be close now. Oh, right. Uh, uh, That's an okay picture. I'm not very sure what they want me to take pictures of. Are there stuff to uh, have a look on? Anything that I need to investigate on? Okay, hello. Hello? Any tree? No. Anything else? Anything here? Oh, there was a small opening here. Well, it's a mysterious rock in a circle of rocks. Oh, can you zoom in and zoom out? I'm curious. And one time zoom isn't really that accurate. Considering that our the focal lengths of eyes are about... I think it's about between 35 to 40 millimeters and that is not technically correct in terms of cameras on whatever camera this is using one times it's just it doesn't make sense to me anymore okay let's see nether nether cra um how do you i should have listened to that I, uh, I should have listened a bit more carefully to the uh, narrator. Well, to myself, actually, because I'm playing as myself. Try focus. If I try that big door photograph, yes. Saving photo. Done. There's a box here. Can I interact with box? Oh, no. That's a work light. Well, maybe I need it. Maybe it's a good bludgeoning weapon in case this spooky comes. Hold the shift key to run. Well, I'm in no need to run. That is some creaking caused by some loose stuff. Or maybe some uh, temperature changes, which makes the creaky creak. Because when temperature changes, metal can expand or contract. Because of science. 
and I can't jump over anything. I can only walk, run and take selfies. Well, technically I can't take any selfies. Hmm. This is very important. You see this here? Somebody was very mature to draw this elephant nose thing and then somebody came over and drew wings on it so it's a flying elephant trunk this is starting to get very deep okay hello okay hello I don't even know what that means it's a blue triangle in an orange square and sky dd S R U M. I don't. I don't know. Press the control key to crouch. This is interesting. There's still electricity. Can I? I can interact now. Yay! This is interesting. Snap. There's electricity everywhere. Or the lights are on. Isn't this cause for concern? Doesn't this mean there are people here already? Don't I have a flashlight or something? I'm a journalist. I'm going into what is essentially an abandoned factory that probably has no electricity at all and I'm not equipped with a flashlight? Am I really that poor? Or did I spend all my budget on this camera that is most likely a I don't know. It it, it kind of seems like a um, my mobile phone that I'm using, or smartphone because that's a bit more ubiquitous in use now. Hello. Okay. Well, there's a keypad, but I can't interact with the keypad, so that door is probably locked five ever. Hello. I'm gonna go up and see what's going on here. Well, there's a circle of chairs. Can I take a picture of that? My graphics card is really struggling with the, with this uh, game. Yeah, sorry if the uh, if you get really bothered about the uh, virtual. Yeah, I'm getting like. Yep, yep. I'm I'm getting like. Uh, lines and uh, the virtual sinking really isn't help isn't uh, catching up okay let's see if a look no nothing here so yeah if you see any like whites like little white blocks every time I turn or the uh, screen sort of tears a bit that is my graphics card struggling like an old hamster on a well-oiled hamster wheel. Well, seems like I'm trapped here for the time being. Let's see what's going to happen to good old me. Uh. Hmm. This looks like a good place to take some pictures. Okay, Wait, what should I take pictures of? There's nothing really of huge importance right now. All I know is that I just got in. There's a hole on the roof. And can I? No, I can't jump. Well, this looks like a place to store stuff. There's not much left apart from some cans. Maybe this place was a maintenance room. Those cans of spray stuff is for something. Okay. Why are they barricading this area? More importantly, what that what is that couch trying to block off? Oh, flickering light. However, I'm too lazy to reach there, so let's go in here first. Empty cans. Oh, it says the number three on it. 
Oh, sweet. So all of the other pictures I've taken were useless. I got into the factory. The crime scene should be close. I should look around and take all the pictures I need. Looks like they stayed in here. Beer, TV and a sofa. What more could you want? Well, you kind of need food. Internet connection as well. Yeah. Don't think uh, 4G is going to hold hold up very well. Okay. Did something open on me? Would you... And it seems like they had some drugs. Oh, of course. Well, if you're sort of intoxicated in drugs, then you can imagine you have 4G connection. Uh, let's see. What did, what did it say? Let's take a picture of this as well. She was restrained here. That much is clear to me. See, what did they do to the poor girl before killing her? She must have been in here for a while, judging by the shit to put, uh, judging by the shit, to put it de delicately. Oh, yeah, um, right, um, well, at least they gave her a bucket. At least they gave her a bucket. Oh, okay, thanks, door, for opening for me. So I shall go through this door and is it the uh, tormented soul of the poor girl that's trying to guide me into uh, getting more clues? Am I the one who's going to solve the mystery? Who knows? Saving photo, yay. No blood or signs of a fight. Why strangle her out here? Or did they move the body? What's down here? Oh, no, no. I need to check this bit. Hello. Hello. This definitely uh, toppled over. This also toppled over. It's like a giant whoopsie daisy. Oh, wait. Or maybe it's the pipe up there that went uh, lazy. Had a gammy leg and decided to fall. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything here, so let's progress to the deep end. Mm hmm. Hello. Now, this is a setting for a horror story. If I ever seen one, this looks like just generic maintenance, to be honest. Hmm, generators, or oh, they seem to look like generators, and 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 that's that little funky logo I couldn't figure out. Hmm. Hello. Do I need to take pictures? Okay, that picture was useless. But snappy snaps always. Oh, that door was open. Let's go there. But there's a light here. Light means you can look at stuff. Or, oh, that's just for the lulls. Hello. Let's go through that door. That door's going to close on me. Welcome to what this game is all about. Stairs. This is like one of the uh, SCPs. Almost feels like one of the SCPs. Saving game. So you continuously... Uh, who? What? Okay. So we continue down SCP. Are we going to turn around and see a scary face behind us? Or... Okay, we hear some crying. We are... Starting to go somewhere okay I got I got a journey entrance 
I found some sort of underground installation beneath the factory. Well, you know, factories do need some stuff. I got a camera that doesn't have video feature, and it's even got digital zoom. Hello? Who are you? Hello? Hello. Who's there? How can you hear me? My name's Valerie. I've been locked in here. You have to help me! Why don't we just, like, uh, hold a conversation or something? It would be very useful, you know? Like, what happened to you? How can I get to you? Bloody bloody blah. Russell Russell. Oh. Uh A B C D E F, okay. Okay, I guess if it's correct, then I would, that would, that thing would automatically open. Magnus A5000, in order to operate a Magnus A5000, you will need to set up a number combination to open it. This is done by aligning the number of, the number dials with a corresponding letter to form a combination that is easily remembered. Well, yeah. I, I think somebody already done that for me, and I will need to find that somebody, or I'm some... Here. The key to the door is in that safe. Find the combination and you can set us both free. Righto, righto. I need to find the combination to the safe. It has to be around here somewhere. Sure. I renovated the room in the basement well before. If I'm going to do this, it should be done here. Where I can be in control. Um, how do I get out? Oh, now yeah, just push the button. Okay, so where's the uh, combination? Safe combination, the code, the whatever. Sky, yes. Dad Is that? Mmm, you're urging me to go there. Uh, okay then. Can't say no to the distressed person. But how can you tell where I'm heading off to? Ah, uh, is that door openable? Nope. Okay. Pictures. Pictures. No pictures. Okay, can't go there because I have the inability to climb over stuff or jump. Hello. This looks like a playpen. Wait a sec, this looks like a sauna room. Or a changing room of some sort. Why would they need a changing room? What are they changing into and what they... Where are the lockers? If you're trying to change into something else, you're not you... sure how long I've been here. It has become a routine. He does the same things to me every day. Same things. Okay, there's the. I still got running water. But that's what. So. I'm going to question. The uh, mm, possibility of you being alive. There's a shadow there, but I'll get to that soon enough. Uh, why are there giant pads here? Those are yoga mats. What's going on here exactly? It's like it's like a uh, a gym. Look, they even got wooden horses. It's like, a, 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 it's, these are gymnasium equipment. Okay, there's a shadow. 
Can I go to the left? Let's go to the left first. Okay, it seems like I can't do anything. Let's take a picture of the uh, shadow first before we do anything. Blip, blip. Let's go towards the shadow. Hello, shadow. Oh no, it's not a shadow. It's a drawing of a person. Why would anyone put graffiti down here? Well, first of all, if you step back, that looks like a cast shadow of this uh, man with a tilting head. Probably naked, because I don't see any clothing. Or maybe he's just wearing a skin-tight shirt and skinny jeans. Who knows? Hmm. Hello. Door. No. Need to hurry. I don't know what he'll do when he finds you. Well, he will probably smack me silly and I'll be locked with you. But I don't think he'll do that. I think he'll be he wants to be the one in control so he'll uh, most likely smack me silly and then put me somewhere where I won't be of any hindrance to him. Most likely in a grave. I'm not feeling so good, dad. Feeling like people are trying to get to me to hurt me. And kill me. I try not to get scared sometimes. It's so scary. The table's sweating. You want to know? Well, when the light passes through the atmosphere, it connects twice. And that makes the light inflect, and it can be reduced to a single atom, and... Okay. Without context, I can't really mix, make sense of what's happening with that. Should I take a picture of that? Great, okay. Not useful. Well, there's a gymnasium equipment. And there's another shadowy figure. I just heard some knocking. Huh. Well, I can't find anything. Wait. I'm now in an area that I previously couldn't reach. Oh, uh, okay. I'm starting to lose my bearings. I'm starting to lose my bearings. Right, let's just go in here. Hello. Okay. We are. And can I open this door? No, I can't. Huh. You're not alone down there. Ooh. Ooh, nice. That shadowy thing just moved. Sweet. Oh, the shivers are happening. This is our washing machine room. Can I turn one of them on and just sort of call him down and say, Hello, shadowy person. I'm over here. Watch out. Watch out. No one. Open door. No. Okay, let's go back and see where that shadowy person went. Eh, okay. Nope. Nothing to see. Hello. Nope. Hello. Hello. Du, du, du. We have to get out of here. I don't care what happens. I just want him to stop. Mm hmm. Can I open this door? Nope. Open the bright door because it's going to lead me to the. Seriously, this is a very, very inconsiderate use of electricity. There's nobody. Well, there's a note here. Still want you sneaking things back, just. Considering everything gone. No, nicotine gum is a good good idea. Like, it allows you to chew and you're thinking about chewing. And because you're chewing, it's just something to do. And stuff, stuff. There's a, a more old-fashioned way of uh, 
doing it, such as chewing tobacco. She did not take to her new room well. Swelling will go down in a day or two. Still hurts like hell though. Oh, so you forced her in a new in another room and she sort of bit and scratched at you. Huh, well. You're trapped here just like me, Mr. Adams. How do you know my name? I never told you. We need to help each other, Mr. Adams. Don't you want to help me? Aha, I knew it. She is not alive. She is a ghosty goo. Thanks, but I'm going to have a look at these. Oh, A equals 4, D equals 7. Okay, let me write that down, grabbing piece of paper. Okay, note written. I found two digits of the safe. A equals 4, D equals 7. Oh, uh, right. I didn't need to write it down. I have my own digital notebook. Okay, let's go through here. Am I going to get a jump scare? Hmm. Okay, I can go up here now. Are you going to say something? No? Huh. Thanks. Hello, this is the door. This is another door. Oh, there she is. Could she really be Valerie? In that case, who died in a factory if Valerie is down here? No, that is Valerie. Friends came over to see her today. Stayed for hours in her room until I asked them to leave. She was getting a bit too excited. Can you, like, do a creepy turn and, like... Huh. Anyway. Doop, doop, doop. Pretty sure she's dead. He spends a lot of time in there when he's finished with me. It kind of feels like he is. Uh, yeah. Shoes. Well, there's. Okay, well. Like I was trying to say, it kind of feels like uh, all this is. Uh, oh, she—he's not holding her for ransom. He's holding her for his own little uh, things. But she didn't say anything about being mis heavily mistreated. Clinical psychology, second edition. Huh. Is he just playing doctor? Hello. C equals bookshelf row. F equals edition of book. Thanks. Bookshelf row. Right. Bookshelf row two. I've got a C here. Oh. Okay, let's have a look. I found some sort of clue to part of the combination. Clinical psychology, second edition. Row. A second row. Is it 2-2 two, two, then? Because... Okay, use that. C equals bookshelf row. F equals edition of book. It's the, it's the second row if you're starting from the top. But if we're starting from the bottom, C could be something completely different. Okay, F is definitely 2. I'm just writing this down. So if we start from the bottom, C could be 3 or 2, so I'm going to write that down. But there's a... Why is there a rock with a number 2 on it? I want to take a picture of this. Well, that was useful. 
okay. Clinical Psychology, second edition. Hmm. Right, okay, let's just go back and see if we can uh, figure out the combination. Ooh, can. The last thing you need is in the storage room behind the green door. Hurry up before he gets back. But I'm pretty sure I got the I got the thing now. Okay, let me let me check. A B. Oh, right. Let's put the numbers in first. Four. D equals seven. And C is equals to two or three. F is equals to two. Okay. We'll just go into the storage room and do our thing. Hmm, singing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Sky. Hmm. Is there some sort of item I should keep an eye out of? Eye out for. Or maybe all the doors are locked and they're gonna spook me. Hmm. Which door? I will be free. Isn't that what you wanted, Mr. Adams? You opened the door by yourself. Wait. What is the clue? Where is the clue? Am I meant to be finding something here? I don't see anything. You said the last thing I need is here. Okay, let's just double check. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Hmm. Well, it seems like she was fibbing. I guess I need to figure all this out by myself. Hmm. No. The last thing I need. The last thing I need. Wait, B equals 6 equals 2? Well, um... Ouch. And we get the key. Right, are we going to release her spirit? Sorry there, I'll just skip the three frames. Haha! -ha! Well, um, exit camera, please. And I have no reflection. This is very interesting. Well, I'm. Huh. No more of those vents to talk through. Hello? Okay. Is there anything here? 
that I can take a note of. No, this seems like a generic office. Filing cabinets. This is a filing room. Nothing. All these TVs are in good working order. It just has no frequency. Hey, sup? Oh, come on. Oh, yay. Hello. Snap. Ow. Okay. You know, she was probably very bored. That there was like, hello? Nope. Hello? Nope. And there's a Henry de Hoover. Hello? Oh, check this out. No toilet seat. She's probably doing all these little hide and seek stuff because she was so bored that she had nobody else to play with and she's going using all her newly found ghostly superpowers to play a very unfair game of hide and seek. Check it out. Bloop, bloop. Pills here. Working light. And okay. Nope, that's not going to work. That works. Hello. Hello. There's pretty much nothing here. Oh no, I spoke too soon. I have the ability to do special make doors through camera through the power of imagination or spirit stuff. This is part of the music. Trying to make me feel very tense and everything like that. Ooh. Pa pow yes. Hmm. There's a lot of little cross sections. Something tells me that I'm going to have to run away from a few things. Anyway, uh, let's go to that switch. And go. Port control. Wa pow. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Does this mean that I'm gonna die if I walk into her? Right, so it seems like the case. Let's try this again. So let's go. Just go away from her singing and I should be fine. She cackles in the darkness. Oh, whoa. Giggle, snort, snort. Can you tell where she hides? If you guess wrong, you'll be the one who uh, dies. Do, 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 do. Uh, this is pretty simple so far. Port control. Right, I can go now. Now, if she can be as kind as to not be standing in the way, yeah, huh. good to go. Right, so I can go down, or I can go to the side. Of course if they want me to go down further further into the depths of spookiness. Okay let's just keep the run button held because I'm guessing something bad's going to happen. Q. 
keep running. Pretty sure that that's what they want me to do. Or look behind me. Oh, they're doing one of those things where you have to walk towards it because you don't really feel like it. I'm going to do it. Let's run. Hello. Yep. She did one of those. You know, let's see if we can go upstairs because if we go upstairs, we can like get away from all of this and if we get away from all of this. Oh, Henry de Hoover, just what I need. I have a feeling that this is going to be... Oh, Henry de Hoover! Yep. It's one of those uh, infinity stairs, like SCP. Dip, 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 doom, dip, 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 dum. Dip. Dip. Saving game. Achievement unlocked. A father's love. Well, that's all the time I have for this session. We learn of Adam, a uh, very curious reporter that has got him himself into a very spooky situation. And Valerie is a ghost that is very bored out of her wits, so that she's just playing a spooky game, a supernatural game of hide and seek. Which is pretty unfair for Adam because he has to deal with all her little hand wavy teleporty madness. Well anyway, thank you very much for watching. If I did a good job, give us a thumbs up. Any thoughts, please leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in our next adventure. Bye bye.